as researchers, it's, it's important that we know how to talk to people about research. That's why I'm with Gabriel and Simon Rose, and we're going to have a great time talking about uh, the research that we do here at Baylor College of Medicine. What type of research do you normally do? I'm a pediatrician, and you, you know what that is, but what I really do is I spend time in the laboratory making vaccines. What are some of the steps to make a vaccine shot? So it's, it's a very complicated process, and it can take years or even decades to wow. make. So first of all, there's a big step in the laboratory. We use a lot of techniques that involve molecular biology and immunology and fermentation technology. But then, even after you make it, you have to test to make sure that it's safe and that it actually works. And what are also the steps to becoming, doing vaccines or? Uh... or be becoming a scientist that makes yes. vaccines. So it requires a lot of years in school. But you know, as, as a scientist and as a professor, I'm still learning every day. So every day I'm reading and learning and I love learning new things. And that's, that's one of the fun things uh, about what I do. Are there some vaccines that can make you more sick or that are more dangerous than getting, not getting the shot altogether? Well, no, because then we wouldn't make it, right? But there are, I mean, some vaccines do have side effects. Uh, the flu vaccine is pretty good, but it can make your arm pretty sore yeah. uh, for, for a few days. But generally, vaccines are, are very safe, and that's why and we only give them after years or decades of safety testing. If you don't get a vaccine, first off, what can happen? Well, what can happen is you can get the actual disease. And so all kids, if they want to go to school, have to get a certain set of shots. So uh, one of the most important are is a vaccine for measles. And it's called the MMR vaccine. And that's really important because now we're starting to see measles come back to the United States. So it's been gone for 20 years. And now this year in 2019, it's come roaring back. There's been more than a thousand cases. And a lot of us are worried because some kids are not getting their vaccination. And, it, and that's happening because some parents believe that the MMR vaccine, the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine, could be dangerous. And, uh, and it's absolutely not true. So that's why it's really important that you listen to your pediatrician, your parents listen to your pediatrician, and get those vaccines because they're safe and they're very effective. We don't want to see any of these diseases come back. And you know what? By you talking to me and going on camera, you're helping to make sure that happens because this is part of the way we educate the public about vaccines and why vaccines are safe. So you're playing a big role right now.